Okay. Um, what I've been doing lately is, um, is, is I've discovered that Leibniz actually has some very interesting ideas about complexity. Leibniz is known as a philosopher, especially in the German-speaking world, but he was a wonderful mathematician. And um, by reading Hermann Weyl, I discovered that Leibniz in 1686 had what I regard as, as a key part of the essential idea that leads to uh, algorithmic information theory, which is the idea of, of studying program size complexity. And um, I have uh, a paper and a book celebrating uh, Leibniz's ideas on complexity. Uh, you have to remember that Leibniz, in addition to um, talking about what it means, what is a scientific law? What, is, what does it mean for something to be lawful? Um, um, in his uh, Discours de Metaphysique in 1686, Leibniz also had the idea of binary arithmetic, and, and he also had a so Leibniz is actually quite an amazing character, and you can find lots of uh, very interesting ideas in Leibniz. And um, I have an article and a book, which in part, the purpose of this article and this book is to celebrate um, the train of thought, uh, starting from Leibniz leading to modern work on uh, algorithmic information, or the notion of uh, complexity of ideas. And this is what this work uh, is really about, I would say, it's a epistemology. It's the question of how can we know or where does knowledge come from uh, in mathematics and in science. And um, that's a field of philosophy. But the difference now is that by developing very uh, carefully the idea that Leibniz first enunciated in 1686 of measuring how to measure complexity, uh, it makes, uh, um, this makes epistemology into a field of mathematics. Where, we, where you use the notion of bits of information to clarify certain ideas in, uh, concerning uh, the scientific method and, and, and the axiomatic method uh, in mathematics. So um, uh, I hope you'll take a look at the article and at the book, the uh, attempt to explain the train of thought starting from Leibniz to now. Thank you very much.